Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm really excited to get started on a new cake today. It is my cookie cake, and it's a little copycat recipe from Sprinkles Cookie Cupcake. When I saw their cupcake, I got really excited with all the different components and elements in it. There's a cookie crust, there's yellow chocolate chip cake layers, brown sugar frosting, and cookie crumbs all over. You guys, I think it's gonna be delicious. I wanna show you how to stack it, decorate it, so let's get started. First thing I do before anything else is make sure my cake layers are level. Sometimes they dome a little bit, sometimes there's a little bit of a sinkhole. Let's level that off so your surface is completely flat. And I use a cake leveler. This one has numbers on the sides that you line up so that when you go across and saw it just like this, it's gonna be really even on both sides. I'm gonna take a little bit of frosting and just spread it on the bottom of the cake board. Not a lot, but just a little bit nice and flat, so that will act like the glue to hold the cake on the cake board so it doesn't move around. I've got my first cake layer. Look at that beautiful cookie crust. Oh, I'm so excited about that, you guys. I can't get this cake done soon enough. You want it in the center as best as possible of your eight inch cake board. And now I'm gonna put frosting just right in the center of the cake, about a half cup to start. You can also pipe this on, but if you wanna just make it go a little bit faster, you just spread the frosting right on top. I push from the center out. If I start bringing it in and kind of moving the frosting around the edges over here, that's when I'm gonna collect all the crumbs. So if you push the frosting out from the center of the cake, and then start working and spreading it around the layer, you're not gonna have all those crumbs get into the frosting. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more frosting. So putting my frosting in the center at about a three-fourths cup. It's okay if you bring it out over the edges, it's just gonna be part of the crumb coat. And now we're also creating a really even flat surface with, with our frosting. It always helps to get down and get eye level with it. So, all right, looking really nice. Hold the cake. And now on this one, we're gonna spread about half of our cookie crumbs. These are just Chips Ahoy cookie crumbs, all smashed up. I thought about baking my own cookies, but I wanted a really crunchy cookie crumb. And you know what? These are classic, and they are. Look how crunchy and crisp they are. They're gonna give a really good texture in this cake. Plus, they add more chocolate chips. <laughs> you can't get enough of those. With any kind of filling, you do want to tap it in, kind of hold it in place. Next, I'm gonna add the second cake layer that's been leveled. This one did not break away from my cake pan as beautifully as my other two, but that's why we do a crumb coat. We're gonna lock in all these crumbs so that they don't show up in our final coat of frosting when we're decorating. So I'm not too worried about a, a crummy cake. Let's go ahead and put in some more frosting in the center there. Again, spread from the center and push outward. It's good to measure how much frosting you're putting in between each layer, just so you have the same amount. I kind of eyeball it, but you can pretty much plan on three-fourths a cup to one cup of frosting in the center. At least that's, that's what I do. All right. Okay, and with every level, get down and make sure it's looking flat. some more of these cookie crumbs on. For the final cake layer, I'm actually gonna put this one top side up so that all my cookie crust layers are on the bottom. And from here, we're just gonna give a good mix to our frosting to get out those air pockets. 
and we're gonna do a light crumb coat just to lock in the crumbs. We'll set that in the freezer for about 10 minutes to set and then we'll continue frosting the cake. You can see there's already crumbs collecting in there. That's okay, once they're frozen and locked in, we won't have to worry about them. Crumb coat does not need to be pretty. We just want to get those crumbs sealed in. So the cake has been in the freezer for about 10 minutes. You can see my crumb coat is set. I can touch the frosting, nothing's coming off. But it's not completely frozen or too cold because if it does get too cold at this point, then the frosting we're gonna add to it is gonna get hard and really hard. So as I've shown you before, I'm gonna take another cake board, the same size as the cake, so it's eight inch. I'm gonna place it on top with the plastic side down. This is gonna help me get a really nice sharp edge here at the top. Again, we always wanna whip up by hand the buttercream to push out any of the air pockets and get it really nice and smooth. Next, I'm gonna just hold the cake board just on the top in the center, and I'm gonna to start to frost the top of the cake. And I'm gonna take the frosting right up over the cake board a little. I'm not pressing hard on the cake board. I don't wanna push it down. I'm just holding it in place with a light touch. Okay, so we're gonna kinda of glue the board down. Once this is frosted all the way around the top, the board is secure and in place. I'm gonna go ahead and frost the rest of it all the way down on top of or over the bottom eight inch cake board here. Once I have a good first coat of the frosting on the outside of the cake, I'm gonna take my cake scraper, nice and clean. We don't want any dry frosting on there that will stick to the new fresh frosting. I'm holding it pretty even with my fingers so the pressure is even from top to bottom. And I keep it nice and snug here, about a 45 degree angle. And I'm just gonna smooth this out as I rotate my cake scraper. You shouldn't have to press hard. The frosting should be soft enough that you can spread and smooth evenly. At this point, after you scrape it once or twice, you kinda just wanna look for any like little air pockets, little bubbles. Fill those in and then scrape again. I try to spin it in one turn so I don't have any lines from the cake scraper. Point. We'll clean off the top. And I'm gonna add cookie crumbs to the sides of the cake. And I wanna do this now because we're gonna freeze the cake again uh, so that we can cut off the top and get a really sharp, nice edge. So now I'm gonna add some of the cookie crumbs. And I um, pulse these in my blender to get them really nice and fine so they would stick to the frosting. Inside, we've got the thicker cookie crumbs bigger chunks, I'm just gonna take my hand and start to carefully place those cookie crumbs on the frosting. These are nice and fine, so they should hold a little bit better. I'm keeping my hand really close to the cake and just letting those crumbs drop. Now with all these extras, I'm just gonna take my icing spatula and carefully lift them up into place. I can go a little bit higher. But fill in any of those spots that you missed with your hand. I also have a jelly roll pan underneath to catch any of the crumbs. I'm just starting at about a third way up the cake, but I might add a little bit more and have it go even higher.
Okay, so my cake has been frozen for about 20, 30 minutes. The frosting is nice and set. So what I'm gonna do is take a sharp knife and slide it right under the cake board. And then I'm just gonna drag the knife around, cutting off the cake board. You may need to clean it off so it doesn't get stuck. The longer it's been frozen, the easier to cut off this top is. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my offset icing spatula and just push up, kind of clean up the sides here. So you can see here, this is a little uneven. We're just gonna add a little bit of frosting, which I already have in my piping bag, to just even out the top layer here. And I'm gonna do some piping on top and add more cake crumbs, or more cookie crumbs, that is. Uh, so I'm not too worried about how perfectly smooth this top is. I just want it to be even so that when the cake is displayed, you have a nice flat top. Just pushing up any sides that have kind of gone over a little bit. All right, I'm going to take the offset icing spatula, hold it parallel to the top of the cake, and just pull in anything that's up on top of the cake. So now I'm going to cover the top with more cookie crumbs. Just a nice even layer. And this is why that top of the frosting did not have to be perfect. We want more of these yummy cookie crumbs so we get some in every bite with the cake. I'm going to add some piping on the top as well. Okay, so I have my Wilton 1M tip, and I am just gonna do a little swirl. I spin mine around so I can just line them up. You could also make marks with a toothpick. Keep your hand nice and straight up and down. Kind of pull it when it gets to the top. Beautiful. Okay, now for the fun part, <laughs> let's add, you know, a few more cookies. Just line them up and put them in the center of where you were piping, just where that little tip is. Push down all the way. One more, and how cute is that? You guys, I can't wait to dig in. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> 